Cat Nellum from Feast Magazine is here, sponsored by Jimmy's on the Park, 76 to Mun Avenue in Clayton. Call them at 725-8585 or their website at jimmyscafe.com. On Tuesdays through Thursdays for lunch in the month of October, Jimmy is offering a complimentary serving of their famous flash fried spinach. Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays at Jimmy's on the Park. Good morning, Kat Nella from Feast Magazine. Good morning, McGraw Millhaven. Where are you going to keep your Emmy for your television <laughs> show in which you are the publisher of the magazine? Uh, it's in the office right now. Really? Yes. It should be placed prominently somewhere. <laughs> Everybody says that it should be a hood ornament. I should, like, drive around with it on the front of my car. No, it's absolutely flabbergasting that we... No, it's not. It will... No, it's not. First of all, you won an Emmy for Feast TV. Yes. Feast TV, you've been doing the show for how long? Seven months. Seven months. How many episodes? Well, we do one a month, so we're working on our seven. Okay. Um, and But you're a magazine. Well, I mean, that's the thing, is that um, when you look at what modern media is, yep. it's a platform, mm-hmm. um, as you well know. Yes. And, you know, you can take that editorial perspective. And if you If you pigeonhole yourself as... I'm a print magazine or we're a digital magazine mm-hmm. or we're a website or a radio station or whatever, mm-hmm. then you kind of miss the point of what what all of this digital innovation has done, which right. is it's opened up just the floodgates of the ability to tell stories. Right. And that's what we want to do is we want to tell great stories about what's happening with the culinary world in our region. And so we'd always developed um, videos as part of the magazine ever since the very first issue. And right. Hannah Radcliffe is our videographer, and she and Ed Calvey um, work with us every single month to produce this show. And um, and so back in January, I went to a conference, and I walked away from that conference and um, had a retreat with my staff. And I was like, you guys, what do you think about doing a half hour show like what if we were to take all this video work that we've been doing we've been been producing four or five videos a month right and actually turn it into a show based on the content of the magazine and they were all like let's give it a let's do it and um so it just it kind of went from there and it's um it's really exciting to be able to do this work and the emmy is just like the icing on the cake the joy is really in the doing of the work no, no, the joy is in the winning. <laughs> the joy is not in being nominated. The joy is this. in the winning. We didn't go into this even <laughs> thinking that that would be a possibility. <laughs> uh, what was the what was the category? What, what did Magazine you Magazine style show. So it's not based on the content. So it's not like there was a cooking show category right. or whatever. Um, it's based on the type of, of programming that you produce. And so this was cook as a magazine style show. Uh, it's It goes right along the fact that Netflix won an Emmy for Amazing. directing, right? Exactly. A website exactly. that, that is producing original content wins yes. an Emmy. Well, it's all a so mashup. So TV just isn't TV anymore. No, it's, a, it's about content delivery. Right. And it's about your editorial perspective. It's right. about the way that you tell stories and the and the and and your production values and the way that you produce what it is that you're doing. And, and so when we say feast... You know, it's not just a print magazine. It's the way that we're um, telling St. Louis food stories. Right. And so it's exciting. I, should, I think it should be prominently placed somewhere in the magazine. I think. Oh, it we're going to run something uh, okay, in the good. November issue good for, for you. sure. This is also, since your parent company is Lee Enterprises and mm-hmm. uh, STLtoday.com, this is the first Emmy they've won as well, I guess. I believe that's true. Right? So the newspaper and the magazine wins an Emmy. Yes. So it's a whole new world. Congratulations. Yes. Uh, couldn't happen to a nicer person. Thank you. All right, what do you got for us today? Um, so I've got two great places that uh, focus um, have a really big wine focus um, uh, as a way to enhance the culinary experience. And one is going to be in your new hood. Mm. Um, Stone Soup yes. Cottage has relocated, yes. and it's now at 5809 Highway N in Cottleville, which, Missouri. Which is Literally, they, they don't have a sign either. No. Uh, well, is, that's something I wanted to mention. <laughs> which is great. I mean, you just have to know where it is. It's right by the Weesey. It's on the when you. It's on the Weesey Farm Road. So when you're driving down Highway N and you see the Weesey Farm sign, turn. Right. And it's a dirt road. Mm-hmm. And you're going to keep driving, and you're going to go up past um, like the greenhouses and all that kind of stuff. And about a year and a half ago, Carl uh, and and Nancy uh, decided to take the plunge and build this space. And they were, I, I believe at first, they were hoping to reuse the barn that was there, but they realized right. that it wasn't savable. And so they have reused a lot of the materials from the barn in this new space. It's absolutely lovely. Blown, and it, it's blown away beautiful. Well, but the, what I like is that it's retained a lot of the character from the original um, space that they were in, which was kind of more in the old town. Right. Um, and 
and and so it doesn't feel like it's something different. It feels like it's an evolution of the original concept. And the and the way that they um it still is very intimate. Um, fireplaces in the dining room. Now they have this really lovely kind of porch where before dinner starts, you go out and have a glass of champagne, right. look at the view, and it still is six courses. Um, you know, and all paired with wine, which Nancy does all the pairings. And she's, um, I believe she's a first level SOM now, and she's working on her second level uh, certification. And Carl's in the kitchen. His new kitchen um, is bigger than the old one mm-hmm. and uh, open as far as like there's a glass wall where you can, you can see what he's you, doing. It's a show. You can watch them put the put the food together. And he brings all of the dishes to the tables himself and presents the food. And, um, you know, it, it starts off with an amuse that was a, a tartare that was absolutely lovely, beef tartare. Um, and then it went into a sweet potato bisque, a panzanella, which is a bread salad, um, a smoked scallop with late harvest corn. Then my personal favorite was a mushroom cassoulet. I love cassoulet. It's one of my favorite dishes to eat, especially now that it's fall and, and all the, the weather's changing. Then it was a duck ragu um, with house-made noodles. And then the dessert was an apple and telegio, which is a type of cheese souffle. Um, and it was just absolutely early fall late summer perfect meal um leisurely like it took a couple of hours right. and you just kind of you sink into the experience and Carl and Nancy are absolutely they're pros and they make you feel so welcome and the food could not be better and it's all and you can do with or without the wine pairings but get the wine pairings stone soup cottage yes. literally my next door neighbor and I love I, it. and I'm not joking yes um out in uh, Cottleville the um but it's it's ha- reservations right oh goodness yes you have to make you reservations have to, for like january of 2024 they have reservations open they have they, they think they're seating 15 more people or something like that now in right. this new spot but yeah you def you have to make a reservation it's one seating every night same time so at seven o'clock you show or whenever it is six yeah six thirty six 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 thirty you don't order food you just show up yep. and you eat what Set they menu. give you I, it's brilliant. It's fantastic. I love it. I yeah. love it. Uh, also, they they have a little side room, so um, engagement parties, yes. wedding parties, whatever else, and, the, yes. and that, that beautiful deck. So you can still keep the intimate dining room while having a party on the other side. Absolutely. Yeah, they're they're great, and I'm so thrilled for their success. And, and you know what? They're in the neighborhood. I'm just going to start. They're in Kim, your neighborhood. They're in, they're in my neighborhood. You're going to uh, start popping by. Reason number 714 why I'm moving to Cottaville. But, no, you're absolutely right. Put up a card table in the uh, kitchen, Carl. I'll, <laughs> sure, be, over, Carl I'll be over be for dinner. <laughs> Millhaven's coming over again for dinner. <laughs> uh, Stone Soup Cottage. Yes. StoneSoupCottage.com, I'm assuming, is the website. All right, good. Um, what's number two? <laughs> number two is the new location of Robust in Edwardsville. We're going to the opposite side of the region. Okay. Um, so Edwardsville, it's at 126 North Main Street. And Robust, as you know, is a fabulous wine bar with um, fabulous food. And their Edwardsville location, they have one in Webster, the original one. Right. They have one downtown, and now they have the Webster location. I love the feel of the Edwardsville location. It has exposed brick walls. It's long and narrow, um, and and the food is terrific. I sat at the bar, and the staff could not be more friendly and warm. And again, it's about the wine and the way that it pairs with the food. It's not just the food. It's that combined experience. And... Um, you know, so they've got uh, cheese plates and charcuterie and then a lot of different small plates. And they do have a couple of uh, entree size things they call um, robusters, <laughs> and, um, which is really cute. But they offer on their menu, uh, they have the different robust factor numbers. Uh, so you can actually kind of browse their very large wine list and feel confident choosing, um, choosing your wines based on what the robust factor is of the, of the dish. So they kind of guide you through it. But, you know, you can also just talk to the fantastic staff. I mean, they have guys that are um, extremely knowledgeable about wine there. So if you say, I'm getting, you know, um, when I was there, I had the, um, the Brasola with uh, some, uh, some arugula and some truffle oil and shaved Parmigiano Reggiano. And so it had this like peppery, you know, it had a lot of really big flavors going on. And they were terrific about pairing that. I love Edwardsville downtown. That's I a, do too. It's a great neighborhood. Uh, Robust is great downtown or in Webster or now in mm-hmm. Ellisville. All right, cool. Uh, what is going Edwardsville. on? Edwardsville. I'm sorry. Um, so we got Stone Soup Cottage yep. in Cottleville and then Robust in uh, Edwardsville. Those yes. are the two picks for the week. Um, what's going on with the award-winning Emmy award-winning Feast TV show? Oh my gosh! Well, we're 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 shooting right now for November. 
Um, the current episode, which will be airing on ABC this Sunday morning right. at 930, we take you down to Florida to go deep sea fishing oh, yeah, with Kevin one. Willman. Right. And it was so much fun. I mean, we spent three days with Kevin in Florida and um, the result, I mean, Hannah and Ed did an amazing job just capturing what it was like to be there. But we take you also into the kitchen at Farmhouse. So you kind of, you see him about his work, what he's doing here in St. Louis and how it relates, how that work in, um, in Florida relates. And I actually wrote the feature on him. Um, that's in the October issue, and it was it was a great experience. I rarely get to write, right. and um, being able to write uh, this piece was it was a lot of fun. Feast magazine on newsstands everywhere. That's right. And uh, if you want to subscribe, you subscribe to the St. Louis Post Dispatch. When that shows up on your doorstep on Sunday, you can sub- subscribe to Feast, and that'll be inside the Sunday newspaper. And you can get a deal, the Mag- McGraw deal for both. By going to sdltoday.com and asking for the McGraw special when you subscribe to the newspaper and Feast Magazine, Kat Neville, star of stage and screen. Congrats. Thank you.